We're here at Irving Plaza getting our entire life in the Telfar collection. And it's all about freedom. And now we're, we're in Black History Month. So it's all about taking charge and taking ownership of, you know, how we've risen up. What was coming down the runway just wasn't speaking to the people. And I think the designers working with actual people became sort of a newer sensation. Even without Fashion Week, this is a crazy city. People, you know, dress crazy. So when it is Fashion Week, it is crazier than ever. Oh my goodness, it's more than the president coming to New York. It creates an environment that everybody's happy. It brings some new energy, some new life, you know? At one point it was very closed off, very exclusive. Now it's a bit more out in the open, which is great. It's awesome, man. You, you know, people got all kind of ideas. You know, some might, for me, might be like outrageously crazy, but it's dope. In New York and across the industry, you know, all fashion weeks are to do with diversity and casting and gender. These labels have been talking about them since they started. Today is the casting for the fashion show next week, and we're just trying to find the right looks, the right models, and to get the job done. It's one of the only brands that has quite literal open casting. Even if you're walking on the street and tap to see it, which quite a lot of people did, you can walk in and try. Well, I'm on Foxy, and I'm here for the casting. Ow. When I first started presenting Gypsy Sports shows, I wanted to make sure that we have a lot of body types represented, a lot of different skin tones and abilities and genders. The streets are so amazingly intersectional. So I'm like, why are we not reflecting that on the runway? You know, when big brands do it, sometimes it looks kind of whack because they have like one chubby girl or like one black dude. And to me, that's not diversity. That's like tokenism. It's a really fine line. And I think I'm really proud about being on the right side of it. I'm not hitting people up who are foreign to my world. I'm actually working with my friends. Like, these are all my friends. I don't know all their names, but these are like my people. His walk was very, really good. He has really nice cheekbones. Look at that, honey. But that's, that's book. That's what you call book. Gypsy Sport is trying to tell you, honey, it's possible for you to get your ass on a runway. The fashion industry is changing a lot for the good. They are very interested in personality on a runway now. But I recommend that everyone always show up and be their true self because your true self can get you so far. It means a lot to me as a queer person, as someone that's disfigured. I don't know, I just want to show a different form of beauty on the runway. Yes. So choose me. Look at these cheekbones. Right. Choose her. You're taking the person and you're seeing what they are. You're seeing who they truly are and you're allowing them to represent your clothes. Perfect. The city's fucking lit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. It's New York fashion wig. Period. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rio has this incredibly welcoming aura. I think that comes from, you know, being an outsider. It gives you a different perspective on who should be at the table. We'd be remiss if we're talking about the current fashion scene not to talk about Hood by Air and what Shane did there. We're in a post Hood by Air fashion week now, and most brands here, I think, owe in some way a little bit to him. And there definitely wasn't this conversation around young designers that we're having now. I'm the only black female who graduated from the MFA Parsons of Fashion Design and Society program. I think structures are changing. Sometimes it's hard to apply to something and seek out uh, an artistic medium if you don't see a lot of people like yourself within it in general. I know that there's a lot of young girls who just want to wear their natural hair and feel beautiful and wear daring things, you know what I mean, from black designers and feel powerful because it's someone just like me who made it. New York is really make me feel excited. Everyone is so friendly and they really welcome different kind of design. I like um, workwear. I like mixing, making things from the scraps. And they really appreciate that. Right now here, there's no boundary. I can do whatever I want. I was making like these little tops in my dorm room and selling them for like $60 just off like mainly Snapchat at the time actually. New York is like the city of finesse. So if you're like out here and you know, pushing your stuff, working with the people around you, taking advantage of your surroundings, then like you'll be good. 
if you're a dominant figure in fashion, whether it be designer, influencer, or whatever, it comes with being a, a humanitarian as well. Whether it's fashion or streetwear, really, like, it's just like young kids trying to make a message to lead our generation to a better place. A lot has changed. Like, I would sell stuff right on the street. Like, I would actually have, you know, T-shirts on a blanket like, and sell them like that. This is our Fall Winter 19 collection titled Country. It's a take on traditional American clothing. I started doing this line when I was 15, and I was like planning to be retired by 30. I was just like super ambitious and always wanted to show my work. It wasn't Fashion Week that was supporting me. Like when I started, it was like the art world <laughs> that has spaces that they actually just give you because, you know, it's like fashion is expensive and to actually be part of that system is expensive. There's a monopoly on what gets seen. It's always been like kind of the support from New York and from my friends that actually did make things happen and they didn't have to be expensive, but they were memorable. Me actually staying true to what I actually wanted to do and not bending to be acceptable or sellable has paid off. <laughs> if you do come here and you do hustle, so, sometimes it really does work out. I think Telfar is like, it's the forefront of our community. Being the Zoe that I'm black and gay, and he's black and gay, and an artist, and living in New York and making these types of things. To see someone like me out there having a voice like that, we haven't seen anything like a movement like this in such a long time. I gravitated towards photography because I'm like, I want to take photos of everything, or like I need to see everything, I need to document everything. Nightlife is one thing on the mood board, and I feel like nightlife is just continuously contributing. The kids start everything. We show up in the party. Fashion really starts with the way, you know, people dress when they go out. The brunch kids, the golf kids, the techno kids, like an ideal night is basically having different types of people that surround you. I feel like in New York, it's kind of like a playground and we can be kids again. Today we're at Calzada. I'm closing the show today. Honestly, it's just a room full of friends all the time, and it's really honest the way that Mike and Zoe orchestrate their brand. I think they like want you to be comfortable in whatever you're wearing, and want to make sure like that their clothes fit your personality and your body and who you are as a person, an individual, and that's really rare. I don't go to many castings, but when I do, I'm very uncomfortable because there's just the stakes feel really high and everyone has that energy. And when I'm with them, it's just like we can like hang out and like joke around. They've stuck with the same people that they have from the start, and that's something you don't see a lot now. really emotional, you know? Like, I think that everybody who's sitting and end the show, we all feel really connected. It feels really personal. We just saw Echo Salada snap. Really probably my favorite in a long time. They should keep on pushing more avant-garde pieces, because it's good to have a showpiece, but it's also good to have something to wear. This is the studio where all the magic happens. This is Maisie, my intern. This season, I'm sort of taking a break and sort of really focusing on looking at the business and like figuring out a way that seems the most cohesive rather than, you know, just showing for the sake of showing. It's so easy to sort of be caught up in like hype and like, you know, like you're getting attention from this person or these people. And then it's like, but you need to sort of take a step back and like, this is my life. This is what I'm doing right now. So I really want to focus and make sure it's something that's not just sort of like a flash in the pan and hype kind of situation. At the end of the day, it is a business. So you still need to make sure that you're like 
surviving. You know, I'm learning so much every day and having to like do things that I don't know how to do or like watch 20 tutorials on YouTube about how to use Excel. So it's a never ending sort of process. I think it makes you a more well-rounded person rather than just being like someone that sits down and draws clothes all day. So I'm here to take photos. I think it's amazing to be a part of this right now because all my friends are in the show. My friends are helping with the show. It's a kinetic energy that's like continuously moving. If we got a chance to come to America on our own, this is how we would call it us. It almost made me feel like I was going back to a Baptist church and getting baptized. And so I think yeah. that's what he was trying to represent with the models like falling. It was nothing but straight rock and roll and black magic. And it's just a quality for all. So thank you, Telfar. It's a cliche to say that New Yorkers work incredibly hard, but they do. So you just know that the people who are showing have had to face so many obstacles, whoever they are. I'm not sure the American identity has shifted. I just think we weren't shown it before. Fashion Week might just be one of the weirdest trade shows in the world, but where else are people, you know, getting to see this level of creation up close?